Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your July 2018 mid-month readings. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Welcome any newcomers and thanks for all your uh, support and comments and feedback and your likes and shares and subscribes and a thank you to all of my clients as well, regular and new, uh, for the busyness with the personal readings. If any of you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can get more information, my contact details, by going to my YouTube channel's homepage, clicking on the little About button, or clicking on the description bar of all the videos I post. Uh, turnaround time is pretty fast because I do readings full time, five to six days a week. It is what I do. Uh, so I can usually get back to you within the same day with more information and scheduling can go from there. So uh, I do a wide variety of readings in all areas of life. So if you're interested, send me an email at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be happy to work with you. And uh, you can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Irish Gypsy as well for those of you who like to use that. All right, let's move right into this reading. This is for the fire sign of Aries for the remainder of July 2018. So we're looking at the last couple of weeks here. These are general readings and the details and uh, specifics will vary because there's so many of you watching. Uh, if you'd like additional clarification and you know you're rising in your moon sign, watch those videos as well. All right, Aries, let's see what's in store for our Rams, the fire sign of Aries for the remainder of July 2018. All right, Aries, we begin with the Ace of Wands followed by the Six of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands followed by the Five of Swords and from the bottom of the deck your overall energy and guidance is the Ace of Cups. You have a great reading Aries. You have two Aces which I always look at as kind of a little uh, extra blessing, you know, kind of a little sprinkling of fairy dust in a reading because they always represent offers or opportunities for new beginnings or new beginnings, you know, the start of a new path and you have to fire and water, uh, which is lovely. So we begin with the Ace of Wands, clarified and accompanied by the Six of Wands. Great combination of energy. Wands is fire energy, that's the element which governs the suit of wands and in the tarot this is very fiery energetic. It's the, it's the fire is the energy of creation. It's creative energy, inspirational, it can be artistic as well. It can represent artistic or creative endeavors or career. It's about building something, it's moving, it's very forward moving, dynamic, fluid, action oriented energy. Aces represent the number one, so they always represent the start of something new, a new beginning or an opportunity which has a lot of potential. So this is an exciting new beginning full of enthusiasm and passion and desire. It can be creative, artistic energy, as well. You're starting off on something new, uh, a brand new beginning and passions are very high around it regardless of the area of your life that it's in. Now it's clarified and accompanied by the Six of Wands which is a card of victory, victory after triumph and struggle. This is significant victory. It's not a minor victory. The Six of Wands represents a significant victory. He went off to do something, you know, accomplish a mission, achieve a quest of some kind, slay a dragon, rescue a princess, get a new job, you know, whatever it is, it's, it's, he's riding back into town. He's been triumphant and successful and he's receiving praise and accolades as well. Uh, sometimes this is a card that represents public recognition, getting awards bonuses, promotions, etc. Some of you in career work and finance, this may be, uh, you may be getting a raise, a promotion, a bonus, or recognition of some kind. Some of you may be getting an award. Uh, some of you may, this new beginning or this new opportunity that you have may be because of how how victorious you've been, uh, you know, after whatever this challenge or struggle has been. Some of you, this is going to be in the relationship area of your life. Uh, and by relationship, this can be in love and romance kind of relationship or close friendship, family relationship too because there's, along with the Ace of Wands, so exciting new fire oriented beginnings, passionate new beginnings, your overall energy is the Ace of Cups which is new emotional beginnings, new emotional awakenings, the heart experiencing an opening or a sense of renewal. Sometimes it can represent new love and romance or a transformation, emotional transformation and emotional renewal within a currently existing relationship or situation. Some of you, it, you may be, um, you know, meeting somebody new in the love and romance department, um, you know, in the last part of July. Others of you in relationship 
um, area of your life, you may be experiencing a renewal, a reconciliation, a renewal after a very difficult or rocky time period in a relationship. And um, because of how hard that both of you have worked at it, um, there's a renewal and you've agreed to let the past stay in the past and move forward. I'm getting that very distinctly. For some of you, it's with another fire sign. So another Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, because next we have the Queen of Wands, clarified and accompanied by the Five of Wands, Five of Swords, I mean. So the Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, Sun, Moon, or Rising, very fiery, dynamic, energetic, passionate, charismatic, uh, probably easy on the eyes uh, kind of person. This could be you for some of you, uh, manifest manifesting the best of who you are because kings and queens represent individuals who have reached the mastery of their suit. They've grown and learned and, and matured and evolved beyond that. Uh, young, immature energy of the page and that spontaneous and impulsive energy of the night. Kings and queens have reached this balanced, kind of evolved uh, uh, plane where they're, they manifest in a very balanced way the character traits inherent to their suit. Fire is, uh, because wands is fire energy, fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So charismatic, energetic, dynamic, real go-getters, problem solvers, um, good delegators, good leaders. Uh, people are drawn to them. Uh, so a lot of you could just be manifesting the best of who you are. I am getting a distinct impression in the relationship area of your life for some of you. You are also involved with another fire sign individual, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This relationship, whether it's romance or a really close friendship or family, has been through some very difficult and rocky times lately. The two of you have worked hard and have come to a reconciliation or a resolution which enables you both to move forward together and experience a renewal in this relationship. An exciting new beginning. It's kind of like a second honeymoon starting over again and agreeing to let the past lie in the past. And you've worked really hard to achieve this. Um, for those of you for whom this is not uh, in the relationship area of your life, say work, career, finances, again, there's this brand new beginning. You may be, because of the work that you've done, you may be giving the opportunity for a new beginning, like being offered a new project or asked to work on a new project or, uh, you know, committee of some kind. Again, raise promotion bonus. Uh, some of you in your community may be receiving recognition and a job or an offer or opportunity that you're really excited about. So with that Queen of Wands uh, is, is clarified and accompanied by the Five of Swords. This is also a card of victory and it's right next to the Six of Wands, which is the other card of victory. So the Five of Swords is a, a hard one victory. Sometimes the accompanying question is whether or not something's been worth it because sometimes the people on the ground behind him can represent that winning, coming out on top, being right, has come at the cost perhaps of personal relationships. Sometimes this card comes up when in work you, you're so ambitious, someone's so ambitious or driven that, you know, they step on other people to kind of get ahead. Uh, but it does represent a struggle which he's put a lot into. I mean, he, technically it looks like he's he's won. He's gathered up his opponent's uh, swords and he's holding his own aloft in victory. But he's tired, worn out, exhausted. He's bleeding from a little cut on his forehead. Uh, he's obviously, this battle was not easy. This challenge was not easy. Whatever it is that you've come through, uh, Ares, was difficult. But you have come out victorious. And I am not inclined to kind of feel like it, 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 for some of you, it may have come at the cost of a personal relationship. But for those of you for whom this is about a specific personal relationship, I'm not getting that you're, you've left this relationship behind or that you're losing this relationship. For those of you for whom this resonates in that area of your life, I feel like the two of you are moving forward together. Um, for others of you, it could be a different friendship or family relationship, work, career, and finance. I mean, however you look at it, the last half of July is all about recognizing and being recognized for having overcome and for having succeeded and triumphed uh, during a difficult or challenging situation, period, relationship, etc. There is a sense of hopefulness, a sense of exciting renewal. The heart is kind of opening up again. Um, you're really excited about what lies ahead and kind of starting over again and really, really eager again to move away from the source of whatever was causing the conflict, strife, or challenge. You're so happy to be done with it. Beautiful, wonderful reading, Aries.
So Aries, that pretty much sums up your July 2018 mid-month general reading. I hope you had enjoyed it, that you found it helpful and useful. Definitely uplifting because it's such a positive, beautiful, bright reading. Um, it's like you're starting off on a new journey. It's great. Again, if any of you would like a more personal, tailored just for you one-on-one -on -one reading, you can get more information and my contact details by going to my YouTube channel's homepage, clicking on the little About button or clicking on the description bar of all the videos that I post, you can email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to work with you. I do a wide variety of readings and turnaround time is usually pretty fast. Um, you can also find me on PayPal through that same email address for those of you who care to donate any sum of money in support of this channel and for all that uh, we do here uh, reading on YouTube. So thank you again, Aries, for watching. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the August 2018 general readings. And until then, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Take care. Bye-bye.